Greetings and welcome to another Lessons with Odin. This episode we're going to be expanding upon last time's tutorial, which involved these little earring pieces that are very cute. And I also showcased this piece, which is what I did to bezel a big-ass 27mm Rivoli. And I decided this episode I'll show you how to do that as well, because it looks really cool. And you could totally have a set like that. You can give it as a gift or keep it for yourself, because you need to treat yourself too. For this project, you will need a big-ass 27mm Rivoli. You can adjust the size of the straps that we're going to wrap around it and do it with a bigger one, because I found out there are bigger ones, which I want to get my hands on too, but they're like 20 bucks a pop. Anyway... You could also go smaller, around an 18 millimeter, but you're not going to get a lot of the strapping showing, so I am doing this one. You will need the same size 15 and size 11 seed beads that you used on your previous project, as well as your 8-0 demi rounds. You will also need two dangly drops, as well as one of the previous units with a dangly drop attached to it. So, you will do the whole front face and you'll just leave it like that. You're not gonna add any of the fire polish rounds or the Rivoli to make it stick out more because we're gonna attach it to a different Rivoli. So, skip that part in the back, just have the nice flat bits. You will also need eight three millimeter fire polish rounds. And of course your needle and thread. Nothing new here. A size 12 as well as, I don't know, I'm using this Hercules stuff. Six pound works pretty well and it goes through 15s fantastically. So with all that being said, let us get started. So basically all this is going to be doing is we're going to be attaching variations of the right angle weave to every single one of these demi round pieces. Now, I have attached my thread to the demi round that is at my dangly part because we're going to use it to start off my chain. I am going to add a size 15, a demi round size 15 and pass back through that demi round that I'm coming out of. Then I'm going to reinforce it just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Then I want to end up coming out of the demi round bead at the top. From there we're going to start normal right angle weave with size 15 seed beads. So I have three size 15 seed beads. I'm going to pass through the demi round at the top, reinforce, and end up coming out here at the tip size 15. You're just going to repeat that two more times to add three stitches in total. So I've got my three size 15s, pass through the top size 15, reinforce, and repeat once more. And that is our first tendril done. The next method we're going to do requires us to travel down through until we reach the demi round at the on top of a drop duo. Now, now it's possible to just travel down and go around the bezel and go back through the demi round until you reach that. Or, in my opinion, it's easier to just end your thread, attach a new one here so you don't have to travel too far. And whatever you want to do, get to this demi round. All right, so my thread is coming out of that demi round. We're going to do on this tendril the double diamond right angle weave. So coming out of there, I'm going to add seven size 15 seed beads. I'm going to pass back through that demi round. In order to make the shape that we want, I'm going to pass through bead number one, skip over bead number two, and pass through bead number three, Skip over bead number four, pass through bead number five, skip over bead number six, and pass through bead number seven, as well as the demi round. And corners will pop into nice rectangular shapes. Now make your way over to the topmost size 15. 
Doing the same thing again, add on 7 size 15 seed beads and pass back through that top. Pass through bead number 1. Skip over bead number 2 and pass through bead number 3. Skip over bead 4, pass through bead 5. Skip over bead number 6, pass through bead number 7 and the first bead that you started from. You might have to flip your threads behind so that the bead pops out. Make your way to the top and repeat two more times for a total of four stitches. Then, those are the two different patterns we're going to work with. The next demi round is over in front of a diamond duo. So, you will do the regular right angle weave. The first one is a 15, demi round 15, and then three 15s, three 15s, and three 15s. Then you'll move to a drop duo and you'll do your double diamond, move over, do the regular right angle weave, move over all the way around until you have all eight tendrils completed. All right. So now you got your massive tendrils, and now what's left to do is we're going to join them all together. So I just stopped at the last tendril that I made, and I'm coming out of the topmost bead. You're going to add a size 11, 3mm size 11, and then pick up the next topmost bead on the next tendril, which is going to be on top of a diamond duo. You'll repeat that, adding your beads, and the next tendril is going to be on top of a drop duo. So we'll pick that up to start joining things together. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. And that is what you end up with. You are going to slide in your Rivoli, what would be color side down, but mine is jet, so it's got two sides. You'll pull that tight, then you'll reinforce once or twice to cinch everything together. Next, we're going to add on our dangly parts, so I'm just going to use this ring to move myself where I want to. So starting from the ring, I'm going to migrate through the double diamond right angle weave. This is on one side of the center dangly part, and I want to go two stitches down right in the center between the two stitches. From there, I will add my dangle beads and anchor it onto that size 15, just like we did with the first bead. So I've got my second size 15, and I'm going to pass through that same bead, reinforce, and then I can either travel or add a new thread and cross over. This is the center dangle. We'll go through the double diamond right angle weave next over to add our second bead. Alright, now you get all your dangly parts attached, the last thing to do is to put a bail on it so that you can hang it on stuff. So, I cut my thread and reattached it here so that I am coming out of the second demi round. Now, since this bezel is a little floppy, you can do it with the first one, but I just decided to do it on the second one because that's how things decided to fit in place. And we are going to do a modified double diamond right angle weave. So instead of 7 beads, I'm going to add 11 beads and pass through that demi round again. And if you are just using this as a regular pendant and you have something else you want to hang on to, um, and you want to use a closed jump ring, you will also include that as well. So, this time we're going to do a little more. We are going to go through... Beads 1 and 2, skip over 3 and go through 4 and 5, skip over 6 and go through 7 and 8, skip over 9 and go through 10 and 11 and back through that demi round, so that you form a bigger loop that's easier to fit a jump ring into. Now, what you can also do is make your own chain using the double diamond right angle weave, passing up through here, adding one more connection of right angle weave, and then going back and forth on each side, anchoring it on these two side points. So you would go to this bead, 
Add on either 7 or 11 beads to do your stitch, moving on and all the way down. And then you will have your finished pendant. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little addition. There's a lot of techniques that you can use on your own without having to do this piece if you don't want to, and if you don't have access to things like diamond duos or uh, drop duos. You can do chains with these kind of things. You can have fun with diamond duos and just do the chains based off of that. Do your own kind of thing with... Uh, your other different cabochons, check it out with, try it with oval cabochons, try it with smaller or bigger sizes, and yes, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this gives you a few ideas for gifting uh, plans, if you have some, these are pretty quick to put together, especially the earring portion, that's super quick to throw together, and yeah, I think that will do it from me. Be sure to follow me around the interwebs, check out what other projects I have done, say hi to me. Come join us at our group, Creations from Lessons with Odin, on Facebook to join another lovely group of beaters who like to share things and what they've been doing. All pertinent links will be down below. And thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. Your support is really awesome, and I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to get exclusive jewelry making tutorials, once per month that I do not offer on YouTube, including this fantastical armored ring that we just did in Halloween. Be sure to join me on Patreon. The link is down below, patreon.com slash Odin's Musings. And be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Give me updates on what's been happening in your life. And, as always, thank you all so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.